has always, always been driven to compete and be the best. And he knows where his talents lies and he will go towards that and he will go and put 120% into anything that he does. And if he's good at it, he'll stick at it and he'll, he'll see it all the way through. I mean, that is one of his big, big um, advantages of what he's doing now is the drive that he has to succeed. It comes through in when he's coaching, when he's talking to people, when he's trying to help people. Um, he just wants to succeed and obviously their success becomes his success as well. Other clients, you know, I, I see the snippets, I see what he does on Facebook, I see the Instagrams and you see these people that's helping and they are genuinely making a better uh, success of themselves and their lives. So, you know, I'd work that side of it, I don't know where it comes from. I've been following his journey, watching him lose weight, watching him go out every morning, uh, getting his cardio and everything in. Um, and I got sort of stuck in a rut. I'd put a lot of weight on. I was struggling with quite severe depression at the time and I knew something needed to change. Um, and I sort of reached out to him and sort of said, look, you know, I'm watching what you're doing and I'm watching the results you're getting, but it wasn't the results that was interesting me. It was the process that he was going through. And I sort of reached out and said, look, can you help me? Um, and we sort of just started chatting from there, which is what, just over 12 months ago. I think I was one of, if not his, almost his very first client when he first started. To me, he's been able to help me sort of actually have the confidence in myself, which I'd lost, uh, and positively reframe all the things that were going wrong in my life. I'd spent years blaming my past, blaming decisions I'd made previously, rather than actually owning up and taking responsibility for where where I was going wrong and what I could actually do to change it. Because having family or having close friends and people that you know intimately tell you that you're cocking things up hurts. Having somebody that you know and trust and you've seen them going through a process themselves and seeing them turn their life around, you think, well, hang on, they must know what they're talking about because they're doing it and they're getting results. So you sort of tend to listen to it objectively. So instead of being offended by it, I actually took on board everything that he said and thought, right, what do I need to do? And we came up with a plan and, um, and sort of my life changed almost overnight. When he started doing the coaching, it was a huge, huge mindset change that I saw from him. And a bloody good one, one, one that he needed, to be honest, and really proud proud of him to see what he's doing now with it. Self-development is hard work. Matt won't have it any other way. I could sit here and go, it's all fun, it's all amazing. But if it was, there would be no self-development there. The point is, is actually, I was limiting myself with my own beliefs, and one thing that Matt helped me do was blast those away, get rid of them, and realize that I didn't have to have any limits around myself, I certainly didn't have to have any limiting beliefs. And that in a way, I'd already achieved a lot of the value that I needed to just tell people and show people that I had. At the beginning, it was just little changes and then there was, I needed lots of little changes first. And then the big changes came, but then obviously Emma seen I've through seen me, me work yeah, me, I? yeah, and that's, and that's when I... Emma started following that. I thought I oh, want a bit of that. Yeah, Cause you you <laughs> were getting I up did. at like yeah. four a.m. and I thought, how are you getting up at that time every morning? And you like just smashing it. I thought I want a bit of that. I'm quite an outgoing and confident person in some situations, but in others I'm like so. I used to be not anymore. Yes. I used to be so shy, so we used to go to networking events, didn't we? Yeah, we did. And I used to hide behind Carol, literally. <laughs> and I used to be like this, you talk. And she'd be like, oh, this is Jordan, she makes dresses, she's amazing. And I'd be like, like, that shy. And just since working with Matt, just one of the things that I've benefited from is the confidence that I've gained in myself, mm -hmm. not just me, but what I offer. I know. I know exactly what I bring to the table, I know it's worth it, I know the value I bring, I know that I help other people, um, I'm confident just all around and I've pushed myself to do a lot of things that I would never have done before mm -hmm. and that's all thanks to the work that I've done with Matt. As a coach myself, I think it's important, it's difficult because when you're a coach you take on so much stuff 
you take on everybody's everyone else's yeah. issues and you need a coach to be able to help you manage what you take in yeah. and to also help you stay accountable and I think that accountability is really good for me I needed that because yeah. yeah, <laughs> I, I, I do with such big clients big events big things I needed someone that could handle those big things and show me a new perspective on things and I think for me Matt has been really good for me on that side of things I like I like working with Matt for that reason I think for me more than anything the genuine the, the genuine soul that Matt is like I, agree, I would really not am. deal with anybody else no. who isn't genuine like I, if I don't feel it then I'm not I'm, that's the million percent what attracted me to Matt it's because he cares he genuinely wants you to succeed it's not just like give me money a load of hype he like genuinely wants you to grow he loves seeing you, still, you succeed and I just think that but you can just tell you can't you just know that Matt's intentions are pure and he's a genuine person that's, and that's it. what I love about Matt one of my first sessions with Matt yeah I said to Matt Matt I want to make ethical money <laughs> I don't, I don't want I don't want, I don't want, I don't want no smoke and mirrors I, I work with my heart and I yeah. always have and my heart will always win and so does Matt yeah. and that, that's oh. where we that's where we are that's where we match and he always wanted to see other people succeed and he just used to buzz off the fact that you could help somebody else and help you know set a positive impression on him deep down he's a genuine bloke he's a he's a he's a really sweet guy so I'm not surprised that loads of people want to come here and, and celebrate his birthday and, and, and be around him he's, he's, his presence is impactful. The thing about success, isn't it? It's, it's what you it's what you give, the aura that you have, the energy that you have, and how you can help people uh, and, and genuinely care. You know, he's not just doing this for the money. He's, he's not just doing this for hype and, and fit. He does it because he really enjoys doing it, and he does it because he wants to positively impact other people and his own life as well. And, he, and he's showcasing that because he's always upgrading everything that he does. Um, and it's an obsession for him and it's a really positive obsession that he wants to help himself and other people achieve more, do more, be more, which is exactly what we were speaking about a few years ago. So, you know, he's really kicking on and doing that and it's, it's a really nice thing to see. And on the days when I doubt myself and on the days when I don't think I can do it, I see him coming up and still showing up and still having the energy and still having that passion and enthusiasm and it makes me sit there and think, no, I can do this. And and yeah, and I do owe so much to Matt and, and just huge big thank you for everything you've given me and, and the future that you've already given me and the future that's ahead of me. So, cheers bud. I'm proud of what you've done, really proud. And I think it's amazing what you're doing for other people, which is more important than anything really, isn't it? Whether, whether you do well for yourself, if you can then give that to other people as well, that's, there's no words for that. It's such a, a lovely evening tonight. Um, and it, Matt is such a genuine, genuine person. He's been such a professional to work with over the years. I said, I think that Matt right now is the best coach in the UK, without a doubt. I've connected with Matt in such a way that he shares the same values as me. He genuinely does want to help people. And I would say, I would agree with Matt Zena, wherever he's gone. I would say you are the best fucking coach in the UK because I know you're on a personal level. I know there's a lot of shit that gets chatted out there about all of us, yeah. right? Because coaching is a very misunderstood industry, but you are genuinely a top guy. You genuinely put other people before yourself. We share so many values and you are, you know, I could say you're one of my best friends in my inner circle and we haven't even known each other that long. But having somebody to empower us and allowing us to be empowered, it's an amazing experience having that, having you as my coach. So thank you so much. What can I say, mate? Like, we were we were at this uh, self-discovery like quite a while ago, weren't we? And we're having a shit old time. Oh, mate. we were having a shit time. We needed to do something. Doing some soul searching and, yeah. no, I think, you know, like we've mentioned, Previously in the podcast that we did just recently, that you know, they were like there were mindset sessions more than there were helping yeah. our physique, you know, and helping our physical appearance and things like that. So, you know, we wanted to go out there, help as many people as we could, and um, through our experiences, through learning off of the people, let's share it, let's see what we can do, let's see who we can help. I mean, look at this now, like I feel a little bit emotional to be honest. So, you have done incredibly well. You continue to do incredibly well, and you haven't even got started yet. So, well done, mate. That's all I can say. Like, good stuff.
his whole attitude to life is he's all in. He, he, and if he's working with you, he's all in with you. There's no holding back. Uh, and I've seen that, you know, I'm not a big social media uh, person. You won't see me on there much at all. I might be spotting for him now and again in gym, and that's as much as you'll see. Um, but what I see of, of, of you people on there, I feel like I know you, and I see the results that he's getting for you. So uh, I know he, he is, he's he completely invested in you. He's always had the personality that if he commits to something, he gives it 110%. <sighs> I feel emotional about this, man. But I just want to say, um, first and foremost, thank you for being here. But more importantly, thank you for being part of my life. You know, I, I genuinely can love, I'm not going to swear tonight, but I'm going to, can love what I do, um, and I genuinely mean this, I believe in every single one of you. If I didn't, I would tell you, and that would be that. But I honestly believe you've got an awful lot to give. Being able to be a part of your journeys is an absolute privilege, and I mean that from the bottom of my heart. So thank you for trusting in me.